chapter 1 sets. Now let us try to have introduction to the sets. The concept of the set serves as a fundamental part of the present day mathematics. Today this concept is being used in almost every branch of mathematics. Sets are used to define the concepts of relations and functions. The study of geometry, sequences, probability, etc. requires the knowledge of sets. The theory of sets was developed by German mathematician named George Cantor whose time period was 1845 to 1918. He first encountered sets while working on problems on trigonometric series. In this chapter, we discuss some basic definitions and operations involving sets. Now, definition of a set. Set is a collection of well-defined objects. The objects are called as elements of the set. In general, a set is denoted by capital letter of the English alphabet and the elements by small letters and they are enclosed between two flower brackets. Now, the small letter A belongs to capital letter A means a is an element of the set A or A is a member of the set A. Small letter A does not belong to the capital letter A represents the element A is not the element of the set A. Now, set A is equal to A1 comma A2 comma A3 dash dash up to An enclosed between two flower brackets order of elements in a set is unimportant. It does not matter how often the same element is listed. Now, some important sets. First one, n, it represents the set of all natural numbers. Z represents the set of all integers. Q represents the set of all rational numbers. R represents the set of real numbers. Z plus represents the set of positive integers. Q plus represents the set of positive rational numbers. And R plus represents the set of positive real numbers. The symbols for the special sets given above will be referred to throughout this chapter. Now, representation of sets. A set is represented in two different ways. The first one is roster method and the second one is set builder or the rule method. Take for example, the first one set A is equal to x such that x is a oval and enclosed between two bra and enclosed between two flower brackets. This is the representation of the set using rule method. The same set can also be written as set A is equal to A E I O U which is called as the roster method of representation of the sets. Hope you have understood the difference between the two representations. In one of the representation we write it as a rule hence it is called as set builder or rule method. And in the roster representation, we write the respective elements that are present in that set. Take the second example, set B is equal to x such that x is a prime number less than 10. Now, set B is equal to 2 comma 3 comma 5 comma 7, which is the roster method of representing the set. Now, 